to say some things to reflect upon it uh, at the end of uh, this lecture uh, we are going to do a small uh, practice a meditation practice and um, it, it's quite interesting it, the, this sutra uh, there are many translations it's very uh, difficult to find a quite accurate translation so uh, there are many translations of the sutras uh, but we will um, read the, what we have found here. Uh, it's called the first uh, teaching of the Buddha. And it says, uh, I will say, uh, quote uh, the, some part of the sutra and then again quote to uh, say when it uh, ends. Uh, in order to be able to know when when uh, we just uh, uh, discuss uh, things and uh, when uh, the the code is uh, on, so code. Now this obikus is a noble truth concerning suffering. Birth is attended with pain. Disease is painful. Disease is painful, and death is painful. Union with the unpleasant is painful. Painful is the separation from the pleasant, and any craving that is unsatisfied. That too is painful. In brief, bodily conditions which spring from attachment are painful. This, then, opicus, is a noble truth concerning suffering. Quote. So, uh, suffering we can see the interesting uh, point in the word suffer. Suffer, it comes, uh, derives uh, from uh, the word, uh, two words, sub and fere. Uh, sub uh, means uh, below, fere means to bear. So uh, suffering, uh, to suffer, to uh, bear from below. Uh, the most interesting uh, part of this is that uh, in Sanskrit, to bear uh, means parati. So, quite interesting this too. Uh, what uh, suffering means? To bear from below. Below, it's all that we consider as a hell as hell's condition, as the ego, ego is from below, ego cannot be from the above, uh, because as we go up uh, and up and up in higher uh, states, um, there are uh, higher states of uh, consciousness, the, the ego cannot uh, go uh, up, upwards, uh, and it arrives uh, from, uh, the, from down, it's what we call the hell. So um, it is to bear from below. Quite interesting. Interesting. The most interesting thing, though, it's that what uh, they expected from uh, the Siddharth from Siddharth was to be a Maharaj, to be a Maharaj, a great ruler. So, instead of being a Maharaj, 
as we said, uh, Bharati, he became a Mahabharat. What Mahabharat means? Mahabharat, of course, it's uh, the Indian uh, uh, sacred text uh, that speaks of war. We will say some things about it later, but it's also like the Iliad of the Homer, all these wars that are inside of us, all this war between uh, our essence and ego and our conscious efforts that are inside of us. So, Mahabharat, if we consider the translation of Bharati as being um, uh, to bear, to bear, and um, of course, uh, uh, Maha. Uh, Bharat means uh, the devoted uh, to the light. Maha ex expect from us a Sanskrit name for great. Maha on, uh, also has a meaning in, um, in sacrifice. So Maha Bharat also means uh, in, a, matter, in a, a way we can say that it means the one who sacrifices Maha, the one who sacrifices Bharat, what is from below. So the one who sacrifices his ego. So he, we can say in a, in a way so that uh, uh, what Buddha did, the enlightened the Siddharth Gautam, because there are many Buddhas. Um, Master Samaelong Ver is also a Buddha. Uh, so, what did uh, Siddharth uh, do? Uh, he sacrificed his pain. He sacrificed his pain. His pain, no, his pain, sorry. Uh, his pain uh, in, in order to become enlightened. What he bear? Because the ego, the ego, we bear it. It's a burden. Ego is a burden. It's a chain, as we will see uh, later on. Uh, it's a burden. So we have to leave it to be free and to seek to be able to reach uh, the light. So also it's quite interesting that um, one of the extracts uh, from uh, Mahabharat, uh, it's uh, the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, and one of uh, Buddha's names uh, is uh, Bhagavati. So it's quite interesting if we consider all this uh, connection between uh, these things. So suffering, suffering, what is suffering? It's what we carry from below, from underneath. It's the ego that we carry within us. This is the suffering. Ego is suffering. Ego is sub, sub. It's the bear that we carry from below, that we carry from existence to existence and in many num uh, numerous returns. So uh, here we can also see next in the passage that it's speaking union with the unpleasant is painful. So Many times we are united with ego. As uh, Master Samaelon verse says, we have 97% uh, of ego and 3% uh, of uh, consciousness, of, uh, of essence. So uh, we are mostly of ego and uh, what uh, we uh, have inside of us, uh, we also are united with ego. We, we make uh, we are united with uh, uh, um, with the unpleasant with what is painful because uh, ego uh, provokes uh, suffering and ego uh, is painful gives us the pain all the pain comes from uh, the ego and craving that is unsatisfied in brief bodily conditions, so here we have something else. Uh, we have what uh, that many times we are united with the ego and we don't even understand it. 
this is to be uh, somehow uh, um, subconsciousness, we can say, unconsciousness, uh, when we are united with ego. But what do we seek? We seek the immortal self. We seek to be united with our mortal self, our essence, our innermost. What is good in us is seeking to be united with our, um, not um, sorry, with our immortal self, not mortal, immortal. Ego is mortal. Ego can die, but our essence, uh, our um, our innermost is immortal. Mortality belongs to ego. This is what uh, Siddhartha, what the Buddha uh, uh, realized. Mortality is of ego and immortality is of essence of innermost. And uh, what pain, pain, nothing is good or bad because pain can, be ben can benefit us. In which manner? For example, we have a body, we have a physical body, the body that we all can see now in this physical world. So this body, uh, inside of it, contains blood, contains uh, vessels, con contains organs that are enclosed, are enclosed um, uh, into um, uh, into the body. Uh, so uh, this, if if we cut and our blood uh, uh, runs from uh, our hand, maybe we cut in our hand and our blood uh, comes out, um, there is pain. And what is there? Pain is there to show us that something is not going wrong, it is not going right. This is why pain, pain show, shows us, is there to show us something is not going right when we are sick when we are uh, when uh, we have something that is painful to us something is not going right because otherwise imagine imagine what, how um, how in the intelligence of god how an intelligent being must have created us that uh, if we didn't have the pain in our skin to feel when we cut, how would we know? We, we could just cut all of our skin uh, and die. But there is pain to prevent us from doing uh, harm in ourselves or, from, uh, or to show us that something is not going right. If an organ is, defect, is defected, uh, I hope I'm using the correct words here. If an organ is um, uh, has something bad, uh, we feel pain, and pain shows us that we have to heal this. We have a part of us that is in pain, so we cannot say that something is good or something is uh, bad. When you are you are sleeping, when we when you fall asleep, if you see a very good dream with very nice rainbows and clouds and uh, I don't know pink clouds and unicorns flying around, uh, a very happy dream, uh, what anyone is considering, you don't want to wake up. But if you see a nightmare, you wake up in seconds. So everything depends on perception how we perceive things because if for example uh, there is suffering there is pain there is also uh, we want we are seeking there's also a craving to seek liberation there is also a craving uh, to seek enlightenment to stop suffering to stop causing suffering to ourselves to stop causing suffering uh, to other human human or every living being. Uh, 